on. I just wanted to um, turn the video on for a minute and show you some Southern California going north on the 101 video. I thought, you know, a lot of people are on the East Coast and in the middle, what I call the middle. And uh, so you're not, this is prettier than looking over there, right? So this is um, Agora Calabasas. I call it Kardashian country, but um, it's about, you know, 10 minutes from where I live. And so I'm going to go ahead and get off up here, oops, up here, so that I can show you some, some of the really pretty um, side roads. That I actually live in one of the better parts of the Southern California. It's really actually beautiful. Um, see, I mean, it, it is gorgeous. I mean, it's not like L.A., like you think of LA and this, all that urbanness, but someday I'm sure it will be, but right now it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off and just, um, it's supposed to, I just, sorry about that you guys, I'm super tired today. I'm, I think I'm coming down with some sinus, so I probably sound even more annoying than I normally do. And um, yeah, I know that my voice is horrible and I shouldn't be trying to YouTube, but I like it. And this is my voice, and I've had it for almost 57 years next month, and it isn't going anywhere. So let me just say that we're supposed to get some rain maybe tonight, and um, that's a poor road right here. Or so, uh, maybe a sprinkle. And it's been really nice. It's only 71 degrees right now, so it's really nice. Um, I am gonna race through this, this, uh, mountain up there. I mean, please. I mean, when I moved back to Oregon, because that's where I'm normally from, originally, I'm here since 1984, though I've been here longer than I lived there, um, I am going to truly, truly, truly miss Southern California. I think it's gorgeous. So, um, yeah, this is the way I go home. I don't usually get off the freeway that soon, but I just kind of wanted to show you, because, um, uh, Actually, I was watching a Shannon Green video the other day, and she said she's never been to Southern California. I'm sure she thinks beaches and stuff, and it's gorgeous, and so I doubt she's watching, but if she ever gets here, it's not just about the beaches, although they are gorgeous. Um, so, but it's it's really pretty. How many times have I said that? I'm just going to be quiet for a minute until I can think of something else to annoy you with, so. There, oh, I just opened the whole thing window too. Did you see the cowboys and the Indians coming over that mountain right there? You, can you hear the Bonanza theme? Dun, 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 dun. That was totally dorky. Um, but yeah, I like it here. There's trees. It's not all desert. And you don't see a lot of palm trees right here, but you will see them sporadically throughout this neighborhood. Some people have planted them. Um, uh, but you don't see a lot, but there's, they're around. They are around. <clears throat> That's my library. I love my library. Did I just say library? I said that on purpose. But I do love the library here. When I move back to Oregon, what am I going to do? I'm going to miss my library, my gym, my grocery stores. I mean, at my age, you know, hey, it, it's so important to have those routines. And I know exactly where to go for what when I want it. I go back to Oregon and I'm going to die. It's like... And I decided I do not want to move back to a redneck part of Oregon or Washington. I just, sorry guys, I'm a, I'm a snowflake and proud of it. And so I decided, before I used to think, oh, it doesn't matter where I live. I'm going to be old and I don't care. But you know what? I do care. I want to be with like-minded people. I want to be with people that I can relate to and that maybe I can like, have friendships with. And, um, and, uh, and that means a bunch of liberal snowflakes. So, yeah, that's who I am. Um, if you can see down there's like a grade. Actually, let's see. No, you can't really see. There's a tr there's a mountain down here. I wish I could see it right now. It looks like cat ears coming over. I should have gone left so I could show you that. Anyway, um, so yeah, let me pause this for a minute. Actually, I'm not going to pause it because it's too hard to get back on. So you just have to sit at this light with me. Um, yeah.
So yeah, I watched San Shannon Green today at break time and she was talking about her art book and like I love that idea because I love drop claws. I always I thought I was weird because I like them so much, you know? But I really think they're pretty because it's so unexpected and un... You know, you didn't try to get that. It just happened. And I love that about them. So I took some and I stripped them into strips and I put them in a book. Uh, not a book. Well, yeah, an altered book. But I was going to journal it and not make a book out of it. So here's one of the golf courses that I live by. One time there was a plane and a small plane got landed accidentally on that golf course. It was hilarious looking out there and seeing a small plane. But anyway, so this is like one of my favorite streets. It's so pretty. And then I will turn it off after the favorite street. But anyway, it's gorgeous, huh? It's California. I've been here since 84, so I've been here a long time. And I really love it. Like I said, going home is going to be hard. See, there's some palm trees. But I can't afford to live here and retire at the same time. There's just no way. So even when I retire from the job that I'm doing now, my soul-sucking job, I'm still going to have to find another job, but hopefully it'll be, like, not soul-sucking. Anyway, I just wanted to have that ride with you and show you that a little bit. So I'll, I'll come back later and show you some other stuff that I wanted to do tonight. Hi, guys. I'm back. Um, so the other day I was... Um, um, was it yesterday? The other day. No, sugar. Sorry, I'm really rummy tonight. I swear it's because of the uh, uh, sinus problems, but I'm hoping they don't get worse. Anyway, uh, sugar pulled out. Uh, sugar. Liz. Uh, Liz, because it's Liz now. I got to remember that. Although she'll always be sugar to me. Liz pulled out some of her um, watercolors and her envelopes, and she started doing that. And so... Today, I was at work, and I was, like, desperate for something to do. And I don't have anything at work, like, art-related, really, except for a few little things, like that one book and some scraps of paper and stuff. But no real paint or anything. And um, today, what I did was I decided I was going to do Liz, Liz's thing. And I have, I've been saving these, so I started using crayons and coloring. Um... And I plan on just coloring a lot of them. And that, that's going to kind of do a background. And then watercoloring over the top of them. These I can do this at work, you guys. And I also found my gelatos. Oh, and some other watercolors that are like super old. But I found my gelatos too. So I can use those as well. So, um, but right now I'm just going to kill some time. Because my daughter's getting ready to come and get me. And this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to use this. I'm going to do this. And um, do some stuff from home. And do some, some stuff at, at, at work. And I'm just going to do these until they're actually colored up. And then I'm going to watercolor over the top of the crayons and see what that does, you know. So, um, yeah. So I thought I'd just... If you guys want to watch me, you can. I'm going to go ahead... I can't mute it. I don't know how. So, um, I'll probably just be quiet and add some music to it. How do I do that? I don't know, but you're going to hear me sniffling, and oh, it's going to be annoying, I know it. Like I said earlier, I know I have a really annoying voice, and for that, I'm sorry, but, but it is my voice. So, and this is California, and it's really bad sinus season this year. It's so bad here. So bad. I have my necklace on from work, so I'm still wearing my work get up. Oh, I just can't wait to retire. I was watching um, Shannon Green, like I said earlier. If I, I hope I, I hope I post this earlier, a video that I made earlier. It's of uh, I drove home from work and I just turned on the video camera and showed you some some streets here in SoCal. It's not your typical beach, but it is so pretty here, and I'm gonna miss it when I go back to Oregon, where I'm from originally. You know, I'm really gonna miss it. So anyway. Um, I don't know what I was talking about, so I'm just going to shut up. Oh, I know what I was talking about. Shannon Green. So I watched her do some stuff today. On all, I'm going to post that, uh, link that, and I'm also going to link to Liz Drake when she did all of her um, painting with watercolors on some 
you know, on some of these business envelopes. I don't even know why I've been saving them, but I'm glad I did. Uh, you know, I, I thought I'll never make a journal out of those, you know. Of course, I used to say I'll never do junk journaling. I'm like, why do people want to do that? You know, why, I would, why would you want to do that? Now I'm completely into it. Like, I'm into it. So, I would want to do that because it's very therapeutic to just color and, you know, make a mess and not worry about the outcome too much. These are Crayolas. They're not horrible crayons. They're not the best. What I, what I actually got these for is um, to re, to do some paint resist on paste, pa not paste paper, but painted papers that, um, uh, what's her name? What's her name I'm saying? My favorite, one of my favorites. Barb Owen. You have to look her up. She's really great, too. I really love her. I really like her. She comes on live on Fridays, and she does a drama-free Friday, and she just does stuff. And She's so generous with her knowledge, and, um, you know, she just is fun to watch. I, I enjoy it. There's a lot of the same people in her in her live stream. It's a live stream. And, um, you know, it's, I like to watch people, and I like the jokes. You know, they joke about the ugly woman with the, her husband. His, his, his name is Claus Man because he... Um, he carves Santa Clauses and she paints them every year and um, so and her son is a handsome guy and he so I'm going to say this one's done and I'm just going to do some watercolor on that. I think this one's done. I'll do some watercolor on that. I did these at work today for a minute. You know, this probably needs another flower but I'm just going to let it go. This, this is just what it is. So what else does this mean? I think this is fine. Maybe I'll make this. Nah, that's fine. Maybe I'll put some stars at the end of these. Anyway, um, so yeah, if you ever get a chance to go see her, go watch her. She's she's one of my faves. You know, I've got so many faves. I really, I'm I, the generosity out there on the internet to learn um, mixed media and junk journaling is incredible. The ladies are wonderful. And right now, I'm just waiting for my daughter to come home and um, um, get me. We're gonna go have sushi tonight. And uh, somebody else is buying, so I'm, and my daughter's flying, so I'm there. Take me. I'm all about it. Sushi's a big deal here. I think it's a big deal everywhere. Casey's trying to look so cute over there. She's doing that thing again. So funny cat. I want to leave some white space on here for the watercolor to add here too. I'm not a big doodler or colorer. I'm really actually not good at it at all. Did I use this purple already? I think I did. I think that's different. Yeah, it's different. But I try. So. I gray. I don't know why. I just do. It's a cool color. So have you guys made one of these um, art journals with a uh, with um, this pretty cool idea of old used envelopes. Have you done that yet? I haven't either. This is my first one. This is my first one. Now another YouTuber I really like is um, Cat Hand. She's got mixed media morsels. You should check her out. I really like her. I like this red. It's pretty. It goes good with this gray. Right? It's pretty. Let's 
see, I'm just making a mess. I'm just hoping that uh, when I put the watercolor over it, it'll look interesting. You can fast forward to the end too. But know that this is probably going to be like a couple of part series. <laughs> Think of that, you can make mud with crayons too, I didn't know that. Uh -huh. that's gonna look like you know I wish I had one of those brand new those pretty pretty um let's just take that off those pretty watercolors Gracie's going crazy over there trying to get my opinion, but I just have one of these basic cheapo rose art ones but you know have you seen the ones in Michael's where they're like there's a bunch of them and they're like pretty they have like teal and pink and I want that one I'm gonna go get that. Did I just totally whine in your ear? Sorry. God, I'm sure I sound horrible today. I I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah, they've got some really pretty colors in the watercolor department. They're usually like five bucks or something. They're really cheap. I don't know why I didn't pick one up when I could have, but I didn't. So. Okay, so I'm gonna call that one done. Should we just let's just let's just do the watercolor thing, shall we? I'm dying to. Let's just try it. Let's do it on here. Let's do the watercolor thing. I wanna. I wanna. Do it. I'm gonna color the whole time. I'll find a brush. I probably have some watercolor brushes way up there. Actually, I know I do, but I'm not. This one's kind of hard. Let's use. Should I use one of those new ones I told you I have and I'm afraid to use because. I don't know. Because I'm afraid I'll wreck them. Okay, hold on. I gotta go get some water. Isn't this cute? I got this jar at the dollar spot for a buck. Quite a concept, right? Dollar spot for a buck. Yeah, I think I am gonna take those gelatos to my work. I could spray this. Because, um, if I knew where my spray bottle was, there it is. Because, um, I have no, like, no color at work. I was jonesing today. That's why I started using the crayons. I have some crayons that were somebody actually gave me. And so, yeah. Ooh, see how it resists? Pretty. I like that. I like that look. You know, I'm not a big watercolor person. Number one, I don't like anything that, I don't know what's gonna do later. Like, what's gonna happen later when I try to do something with this, you know? I'm like, I guess because I'm not very experienced, so. So, but we'll see what happens, because now I'm gonna do something else with it. It's not done. Far from done. I'm gonna stamp it or something. That's cute though. I like it. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's do yellow. Ooh, mud, mud. Well, it'd be green, wouldn't it? Because it was in the blue. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you see what's going on here, guys? I sound terrible with my cold. Sorry. I'm hungry. She should be here pretty soon. She's probably trying to call me, but I'm videoing with my phone, so. Oh, well. Okay, that's cool. It's not amazing, but it's cool. 
I wish I had pink. Let's try this little yellow one. This, like, this pink, whatever it is. Like red. Probably be more pink than red though, right? Because it's, yeah, that's cool. Look what happened to that. Orange got on there. I don't know how that happened. I really like using the resist crayons though. It's fun. Can okay, we see this orange? I'm not really trying to do much with this in mine as far as like strokes go. You know, because you can make like texture with the strokes. You know, the strokes are going different ways and stuff. I haven't really. It's kind of cool. And this one, I definitely want it to be blue. No, I don't. I want it to be purple. And then I'll do the other one blue because it'll. Oh, yeah. Love. Love. A little bit of orange in there to make some mud. Oh, there's some brown in there. Now that's really going to make some mud. So anyway, I'm kind of living on the edge for me because I don't like this lines. I mean, I don't mind it, but for me, I'm more of a uniform kind of person, I think. So I'm kind of liking what's happening with all this mess, though. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm sniffling, I'm hungry. Probably not a great time to be whining at you, is it? I like this brush. It's way too big for what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I don't know the, like, what are you, what's, I mean, I don't know. Watercolor brush, I guess. Look at I can already see the bottom of the palette. Is that the right word? Is this the bottom of the pan, I guess? I like this one. This is a pretty one. There we go. Like. I think that's kind of pretty, don't you? I'm going to put all these together with my... This is the last one I'm going to do for now, and then I am going to use... Green or blue? Let's do green, because we're going to blue. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, that's a felt pen. See, I used a felt pen at work. I hope that doesn't wreck my brush. But yeah, I did a felt pen. Um, I have some felt pens, and I have some funky crayons. And they're funky, but it's color, right? And that's all I wanted. I was jonesing at lunch. I needed to slap some color down, so... And I was going to run over to the store and get some um, watercolors, but I thought, no, I can't, I, I'm not rich. I can't just go to the store, even though they're probably only going to be a couple dollars. But a couple dollars here and a couple dollars there adds up. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Actually, let me just drop this on there. I wrecked it. Actually, I didn't. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um... So I'm going to leave it open so it dries. I heard if you don't leave it open, it will mold. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this out. And then I'm going to go find out where my kid is. She's probably trying to call me, but I um, use my phone. So anyway, I'll be back. We're going to do some more of this another time. So I hope you guys have a great uh, time. Until the next time I see you. Bye.